Hello everyone, and welcome to Stargit Study. Today, we will learn how to compare numbers. Comparing numbers involves determining the relationship between two or more numbers. Are they equal, greater than or less than each other? In everyday life, we often need to know if a number is the same as or smaller than or larger than another number. We call this comparing numbers. Now, let's talk about the symbols we use in maths for comparing numbers. We have the symbols equals, greater than, and less than. In maths, we use signs rather than words to compare numbers. Instead of writing equal in words, we write equal as a sign. Instead of writing smaller than in words, we write it as a sign. Instead of writing greater than in words, we write greater than as a sign. Let's practice. Which sign is this? Greater than. Which sign is this? Equal. Which sign is this? Smaller than. Look at these cupcakes. There are five cakes on each side. So the number on one side equal to the number on the other side. There are five on the left side and five on the right side. Both sides have the same number of cupcakes, so they are equal. There are five cupcakes on the left side and three on the right side. So the number on the left side is greater than the number on the right side. In maths, we use the sign greater than. We write, and we read it as five is greater than three. This time, there are two cupcakes on the left side and eight cupcakes on the right side. There are less cupcakes on the left side. We write, and we say two is less than eight. We use symbols to compare numbers. These signs are called comparison symbols. We use them to compare numbers or amounts. The equal sign means the numbers are the same. The greater than sign means the number on the left is larger. The less than sign means the number on the left is smaller. To make sure to remember how to put the sign greater than or less than, just remember to point at the smaller number. The narrowest part of the symbol points to the smaller number. Have a look at these examples. Point at the small number. 5 is the smaller number, so the sign is pointing towards it. Point at the small number. 21 is the smaller number, so the sign is pointing towards it. Point at the small number. 109 is the smaller number, so the sign is pointing towards it. Let's work through some examples using the equal sign. If we have two numbers that are the same, like 10 and 10, how would we express that? That's right, 10 equals 10. So we use the equal sign, 10 equals 10. Let's work through some examples using the greater than sign. How would we write 7 is greater than 5? Remember to point to the smaller number. How would we write 34 is greater than 19? Remember to point to the smaller number. How would we write 102 is greater than 78? Remember to point to the smaller number. 
Let's work through some examples using the less than sign. How would we write 89 is less than 103? Remember to point to the smaller number. How would we write 12 is less than 20? Remember to point to the smaller number. How would we write 150 is less than 300? Remember to point to the smaller number. Remember to use the equal sign when comparing numbers that are the same. And always double check the direction of the symbol to ensure accurate comparisons.